Hello and welcome to the Photography Show 2017. My name's David McClelland and over the next four days, we're gonna be giving you all of the best hands-on with the cameras. We're gonna be speaking with all the super speakers from the super stage and chatting to as many exhibitors and visitors as possible. Thousands of kit-hungry camera lovers are flooding the floor here at the NEC. I love it. Let's go and see what they're up to. When you visit the photography show, you probably all have your favorite brands you're looking to see first of all, but did you know there's a whole load, half a dozen or more, of free stages for you to go and see as well. Things like mobile and social, there's a drone zone here, a video stage, and for the first time, a 360 and VR stage. Lots of ways to make the most of your time here at the photography show. Photography 2017 has been fantastic, big audiences and the stage has become very, very busy alongside a lot of people looking at the cameras and the lenses that we've got on display as well. We've had a wonderful show so far and we're really delighted. We've got a brand new bag to show everybody at Billingham, which is quite rare. Well, we've got more cameras in the lineup than we've ever had before, but the three big ones we're showing, which um, is the first time they've ever been seen properly, is the 800D, the 7070D and our new mirrorless, the M6 as well. Everyone's come to the stand, we've got it plastered everywhere and we've got one on every corner. We've got the GX, uh, GH5 and we've got the 1-400 to lens. Well, it's really nice here at the show. We've got opportunity for some of the photographers to talk about their experience. Very busy, very busy, very happy so far. We have about seven people and I don't think I had one minute for myself. One of the amazing things about the photography show are the fantastic speakers on the super stage. When I'm just casually going out, I always have my iPhone with me. I try as much as possible to approach a place without a lot of preconceptions. I think as long as you don't become too obsessed by it, you know, watching other people on Instagram. I almost have two hats. You put on a still hat or you put on a different hat for movies. And then I try to uh, infuse in my photographs what it actually is like to be there. They said to me, are you professional? And I just said, yes. Of course I wasn't. I'd only done a one week course of less than that, five days. Because you always want to stay, kind of try and stay one step ahead. What's, you know, where's this whole industry going? Because it, it's moving all the time. People see my pictures and they tend to think I'm like sort of Rex Harrison wandering through in a dressing <laughs> gown saying, F8 of the fortnight two stops down, wander on, but it's not like that, I'm just like me doing it, you know. If you're trying to make something long-lasting that really shows human condition, a model is often very, very adept at hiding all that. Because this kind of photography is a kind of mirror of the society that we live in, and that we must be apt to understand our society, to capture the image. 